फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल बायो इशिका दिस इज इशिका एंड टूडे आई वुड बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल अबाउट द कंपेरिजन बिटवीन योर बी एस डिग्री योर बी एस ऑनर्स डिग्री एंड योर बी टेक डिग्री इन बायोटेक सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फॉर द टाइम लेट्स टिक इन टू द टॉपिक सो योर वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कंपेरेटिव एनालिसिस एज वेल एज द स्टूडेंट्स हुव जस्ट कम्पलीटेड देर इलेवन ट्वेल्थ एंड दो आर प्लानिंग टू टेक Uh, any course regarding biotech then which is better for them in detail i would be saying you so let's go so let's move on let's discuss about the basic course structure and duration so if we see that the bsc degree is of 3 years and its nature is general science type and the degree is ug science again so if we talk about the bsc honors degree it is of 4 years same as the btech degree but the bsc honors uh, course is a specialized one and the degree type is ug honors so if we talk about the btech degree which is of 4 years it includes engineering plus application uh, type in nature and uh, the degree type is ug engineering again so moving on to the curriculum and academic focus so here we would be focusing on the theoretical area the lab work engineering applications and research orientation so first of all if we talk about the bs degree the theory if we can see here it's medium matlab normal overall knowledge you would be getting next we have the lab work see the lab work then in bs degree it's very moderate and engineering applications if we talk about then it has no engineering like nothing related to maths or any analytical uh, core subject if we see then we talk if we talk about the research orientation it's very basic very minimal moving on to the bs honors degree which is the specialized degree so the theory part we expect it to be strong the lab work is also high the engineering application is none again and research orientation is moderate about btech the theory part is very strong the lab work is very high the engineering application also it is included the maths part is good the analytical part is good then if we talk about the research orientation it's high again so yeah you can actually choose according to your preferences i would say if we talk about the entrance and eligibility if you want to pursue bs degree course a simple bs degree course then you should be having pcb in your 12th and it also accept a uh, cuet as well as a merit board exam marks that is merit means your board exam marks so if we talk about the bs honors course you should be having pcb in your 12th and the entrance exam we can expect here is cuet duet and bhu uet then we talk about your btech we expect pcm in your 12th and in certain cases pcb students are also applicable to uh, get into this btech course so it accepts entrance exam that is your je main your wait excuse me your je main state cet and vit triple e talk about the career and job roles you can see i have included here research assistant lab technician biotech companies pharma abroad ms or phd if you if you want to do any of these uh, jobs or if you want to pursue any of these career options then what is good for you you can uh, actually check it out through this table it's pretty clear so if you are doing or if you are pursuing a bs degree then you are obviously eligible for your research assistant lab technician but you are not that eligible the percentage drops and the biotech companies have very limited seats have you know uh, though for those who have a bs degree only so uh, other than this every other options you can easily opt through your bs degree then coming to your bs honors degree the specialized one the chances double pick, the more the double ticks the more is the chances so here the chances are pretty high if you are uh, aiming for research assistant for lab technician biotech companies pharma and it's very good at phd from abroad so moving on to the btech part so as you can see clearly there are like triple ticks and four five ticks that means the chances of you getting into this uh, career field is very good so you can opt for your research assist uh, again the options are pretty clear and you can check it out how much it's beneficial if you if you like have a btech degree 
further heading on to top colleges for each courses so if you have a normal general bs degree in biotech then you can expect these colleges and i have also included the overall rating the overall rating is 3 out of 5 so you can check out these colleges if you have a bs honors degree in biotech you can expect these colleges which have an overall rating that is 4 out of 5 and if you have a btech biotech degree then you can expect the uh, following colleges that is iit delhi nit vit vellore and a university the overall rating is 5 on 5 you can actually check out according to your interests so moving on to the salary and job prospects that is for the freshers which is the most le asked question and uh, people are keen to know what's the salary and job scope in these fields so course wise we will discuss so uh, the average salary range for a freshers if he or she has a bs degree we can expect 2 to 3 lpa for the specialized degree that is the bsc honors degree we can expect 3 to 4.5 lpa and for btech we expect 4 to 7 but i would say uh, it's like 5 lpa on an average but you can check check it out again so the entry level roles are very very limited if you have a general course and it's moderate if you have a specialized course and uh, it has broad variations if you are doing btech so here you can check out the ratings uh for bsc it's 2 out of 5 for bsc honors is 4 on 5 and if it's btech if you are doing if you are having a degree in btech it's 5 on 5 again so you can see if you have uh another point i would like to include and this is completely my personal opinion i would say so if you had mathematics and excuse me so if you had mathematics and biology in your uh 12th then i feel like you should be opting for btech degree as it offers wide range of variations in your field as well as the scope is very very high if you have a btech engineering degree and in abroad also it is in demand so uh, i would recommend btech if you had maths and uh, biology in your 12th so again it depends on you completely what you like to do then moving on to the ideal candidate for each course so if you want to explore science and want flexibility in your course then you should be going for your bs degree or you have other plans like you are pursuing another course from distance you want another degree from distance then you should keep it minimal right so you should be having a basic general idea then you should obviously go for the normal bs degree course so if you again moving on to the next point if you uh, have if you are aiming to do anything uh, related to research field work or you want to pursue a phd aage jaake then you should be opting for anything which is like specialized you know so the better option we could uh, think about is bs honors degree then, so moving on to the next point that is your if you are um, tech savvy industry ready or you want high uh, return of investment then you can obviously opt for btech biotech so let's head on to the summary table so let's talk about the duration we all know by now that the bsc degree is of 3 years the bsc honors degree is of 4 years same as the btech degree so the core focus here it is basics uh, here it's deep theory and here includes the lab tech lab work and tech work So if we talk about the industry exposure for the BSc degree it's low and for the BSc honors degree it's medium and for BTech it's again high. So research scope if we talk about then BSc as it's very uh, general in nature so it provides very limited research scope or uh, we can say it doesn't provide that much scope as compared to BSc honors degree a specialized degree. I hope you are getting it. then if we talk about the market readiness it's very low in case of uh, the bsc degree if we talk about the bsc honors degree it's moderate and btech degree it's very high so it's best suited for the flexible learners as i already mentioned before that uh, if you are interested in pursuing another course from distance then you can again uh, opt for bsc degree because it's very very flexible 
also i would like to say that for example let's say that you are planning to do mba after you complete your graduation in that case you want to keep it very general very minimal then you can always opt for your bsc degree which obviously provides flexibility to a lot extent then moving on to the btech it uh, is best suited for the industry and tech lovers so the final verdict i would say for the best research and academia that is your specialized course bsc honors then for industry careers and innovation btech and for the general science and understanding flexibility we have bsc here we come to an end guys so all the best also 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 i would like to i forgot to mention and i would like to add a point that is if you are aiming to take btech uh, biotech then you should also expect that in your first year uh, you can expect maths as your subject plus other engineering subjects as well so if you are uh, good in your biology part so you can't expect anything much in biology in your uh, btech course of course so you have to be very very careful before you actually choose a course because it would decide your future ultimately so yeah thanks for watching do subscribe for more bio related content